Weapon crafting underwent a mass simplification over the past season. The advanced materials have been removed from the game, which I think is pretty fine. They made the system more complex for the sake of making it complex. Deep sight weapons take much less time to complete, looking at about 40 kills for primaries and specials, making this a non-factor, at least in my eyes. We can also hold more of the main currency, a little bit. But in spite of that, there have still been many complaints about weapon crafting, and today I'd like to give what is potentially an unpopular take on weapon crafting as a whole, related to a video I posted during the Witch Queen launch. This was partly inspired by a comment I saw recently, talking about how crafting a weapon makes all other copies of that weapon you ever get irrelevant. And I was just kinda like, I mean, yeah, you craft your perfect weapon, so that you don't need to worry about any other drops anymore, or worry about RNG anymore. I mean, like we've been through this many years ago, so I'm not, I'm not sure what the expectation was there. So weapon crafting is something that I have not been very deeply involved in. I have not been grinding my brains out to get all of the patterns for all the weapons, especially this season, and that's because of multiple reasons. I've been satisfied with the regular drops that I've been getting. I never believed that weapon crafting was supposed to replace the way that I get weapons in Destiny. I always believed it was a backup system, a secondary thing that you work on in the background as bad luck protection. I go several weeks of play without the exact perfect drop that I want. Over time, I'm slowly able to collect enough red border weapons to craft my own version. I never thought of weapon crafting as something that I had to blitz through immediately, grinding for hours and hours with the specific intent of getting red border weapons. This is on top of the fact that most enhanced perks are the smallest of upgrades to their base versions and might be completely unnoticeable to the average player. Are there exceptions to this? Absolutely, there are a few enhanced perks here and there that are definitely better, but most aren't really that remarkable. This means I have almost no desire to chase the enhanced perks, further reducing the urge to craft things. I have no urgency to craft something like the Raid Linear Fusion Rifle when I have a version that satisfies me and isn't going to result in a dramatically increased effect. On top of that, I have no urgency to rush to get every single pattern in the game, only to craft the level one version and then dump it in my vault forever, as I have done when this feature initially launched in Witch Queen. Not every single craftable weapon in the game is worthy of craft. I don't see a need to have every pattern because I will never use a big chunk of the weapons that I can craft. So why waste a bunch of time getting patterns in the first place? Why not just get them naturally over time? I can understand some level of urgency during the final season of an expansion cycle as you only have three months, sure. But otherwise, I'm not going crazy because I'm confident in my ability to get the roles that I want to get, or at least be satisfied with the ones that I end up with. I searched far and wide for a role of stats for all, one for all on the title SMG from Guardian Games. Never got it, probably got over a hundred of them. If I did, I still think it would be sitting in my vault anyway. Not every weapon needs that level of urgency of getting all the weapon patterns and crafting it immediately. And this is something that I'm hoping to pass on to players who are freaking out about weapon crafting and trying to get all these patterns immediately, spending their precious time monotonously grinding away in the Leviathan for an enhanced version of the rocket launcher or the scout rifle or something. Weapon crafting is not supposed to be, at least I don't believe it's supposed to be, the new main way of acquiring loot in the game. Use it as a backup, use it as a failsafe. Get red borders as a part of natural play and you won't be driving yourself as crazy as some of you might be. People are trying to force what I believe to be a long grind done over the course of a season or even multiple seasons into like two weeks time and that's just not how I think it was designed to be. But I get it. As someone who used to chase every single triumph in the game and as someone who still kind of does, as someone who wants most of the titles in the game, I totally respect that some people just want all the things. You want all the collectibles, you want all the armor, all the weapons, all of this, that. I get it. I wanted all the triumphs, but triumph grinding came with its own perils and its own grinds that took a super long time to do. But that's the price 
of wanting to get every single thing in the game. I think Bungie will eventually make pattern acquisition a bit easier due to all of the complaints. They're probably monitoring how these new changes are working out before they shift anything. But making it too easy potentially removes a big reason to even play the game in the first place. Grinding for items. This is a problem we literally had in year one of the game. As soon as you got a gun, because there were no random perks to roll on those guns at the time, you never needed another version. And we quickly learned that this took a lot of the fun out of perk rolls on weapons, and it negated a huge reason to even play the game. I think something that's been getting a little lost on people is that you're crafting a perfect weapon. And I feel like god roll weapons are almost an expectation for people nowadays, especially with the advent of weapon crafting. This is also why not every single weapon is craftable. It would remove a lot of the excitement from getting a really good drop, just knowing in the back of your mind that you could eventually craft it down the road. If every drop ever was craftable, that entire side of the game would lose a lot of excitement, and the game would just be about monotonously grinding weapon patterns in the Leviathan. This is partly an issue right now. Any crafted weapon that drops elicits zero excitement because I know in the back of my mind, if I wanted to spend the time grinding, I could just get the perfect version. Is that to say that weapon crafting is a flawless experience? Absolutely not. But a lot of things are the way that they are to make sure that you still have a grind to experience. Bungie does want you to still have reasons to play the game. Two things I see very often are the lack of permanently unlocked perks and the high cost of changing your perks on weapons. And both of these are related to the grind, TM. Again, Bungie wants to keep you playing. They want you to have to grind for these materials to sustain all of the changes that you might want to make with your weapons. That being said, while I personally don't plan on swapping perks back and forth a whole lot, especially because I'd rather just test out perks on their non-enhanced versions first, and then make my choice, reducing the neutral element, as I know it's not called neutral element, but neutral element cost of enhanced perks wouldn't be the worst thing ever. And the same goes for the permanent perk unlocks, which is what I originally thought was going to happen. You have a one-time cost, and you permanently unlock the perk on a specific gun. I don't think there's much wrong with this idea, as the cost of unlocking every single perk on every single gun will keep those of you looking to do that pretty busy, and it just makes the system a bit friendlier overall. You could also just craft multiple versions of the guns and then level them up individually instead of swapping perks back and forth, but that kind of goes into our next and probably biggest issue. Another frustration that I've seen is that you actually need to level, aka play with, the weapon in order to get to the better perks on the crafted weapons which isn't exactly a concept that enrages me or anything. It's not like it doesn't make sense, but it's not exactly the most fun to have to play with a gun I would literally never use in order to level it up to the point where I do want to use it. And this has been by far the largest complaint that I've seen regarding this system. I'm not exactly sure what the solution is here though, as just making every single perk accessible immediately doesn't seem like the route Bungie wants to go for. It seems like they want people to invest heavily into a crafted weapon experience for that god roll, which makes sense. You gotta work for that god roll. Perhaps they could do something where you spend additional materials to unlock the later base perks without having to level the weapon up. Maybe they just unlock all of the base version of the perks much earlier, so you could get to the non-enhanced roll that you want a bit faster, so that the gun is actually fun to use when you first start using it. Again, though, you are able to get, quite literally, the perfect roll on a gun, and having that cost a bit more than the usual experience, I don't think is out of pocket. I'm more than okay with the fact that crafting a perfect weapon is going to take a bit more than just finding something on the ground and throwing some enhancement cores at it. The raid weapons are also a bit expensive, but they're raid weapons. You can craft perfect raid weapons. It should be some level of expensive. Having your entire arsenal be crafted, I don't think was intended to become the norm. Perhaps I'm not being harsh enough. I don't know. It's just a system that has never felt like I needed to desperately engage with in order to continue having fun in the game. I get that Ostringer being the only hand cannon that's craftable might be a little bit annoying, 
but we all know how good hand cannons are and have been in PvP across Destiny's history, and perhaps Bungie didn't want to very quickly populate the Crucible with perfect roll hand cannons. Also, if you've been playing for a while, I can't imagine you don't have some sort of decently rolled PvP hand cannon already. Am I out of touch? Is everyone else out of touch? Should people be blitzing towards these weapon patterns immediately, or do people need to just calm down a little bit? Let me know, because I, I feel like my take is going to be very unpopular. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.